Hello everybody and welcome to Ancient Architects. Please subscribe now to get the latest ancient history news and independent research from around the world. In the news this week, scientists have reconstructed the face of arguably the greatest ancient Egyptian ruler of all, Pharaoh Ramesses II of the 19th dynasty. Although the pharaoh died aged 90, which is quite the age for someone that lived 3,200 plus years ago, using his mummified remains, experts have reconstructed his face both in his prime, aged around 45 years old, and also in his old age. Talking to Life Science, Caroline Wilkinson, director of the Face Lab at Liverpool John Moores University, said... We carried out a three-dimensional age regression process to remove some signs of ageing, in order to depict him in his middle age at the peak of his power. And this is the result, and described as being handsome by Sahar Salim, Professor of Radiology at Cairo University and leader of the project. The image shows the pharaoh as a man, no headdress, jewellery or makeup, and although it's great to see how he truly looked, I do hope they do another version showing Ramesses in his full royal regalia, so we can have an idea of how he would have looked when presented to the masses. King Ramesses II, also known as Ramesses the Great, ruled Egypt for an astonishing 66 years, a great warrior and powerful ruler of the new kingdom. He was responsible for incredible structures, including the magnificent Abu Simbel Temple. He also moved the capital of his kingdom from Thebes, building Pyramuses in the eastern Nile Delta. Why, we don't know, but it's possible he wanted to be closer to his territories in Canaan and Syria. Pyramuses had enormous temples and statues, and a vast palace complete with its own zoo, a city that would one day be dismantled and used to make the city of Tanis. Ramesses the Great also built the famous Ramesseum Temple Complex, completed a new Sphinx Temple between the paws of the monument at Giza, and also did renovation work at the famous 4th Dynasty Necropolis. Colossal temples and statues were erected across Egypt, which is no surprise for a king that had so much success in his long life. He is said to have led an army of 100,000 men, suppressing the Nubians, leading campaigns in Libya, securing Egypt's borders, and recording many military victories. He led the Egyptian forces against the Hittites in the famous Battle of Kadesh, and this resulted in the Egyptian Hittite Peace Treaty, the earliest known peace treaty in history. As stated, he lived for 90 years and reigned for 66, but towards the end of his life, he was plagued by dental problems and arthritis. He outlived many of his wives and children, and he left great memorials all over Egypt. When he passed away, he was originally laid to rest in tomb KV7 in the Valley of the Kings, but because of looting, his remains were rewrapped and moved in ancient times and placed in the tomb of Queen Amos in Happy. But according to hieroglyphic records, 72 hours later he was moved again, this time to the tomb of High Priest Pinagem II. Later still, priests of the 21st dynasty transferred his and many royal remains to tomb TT320, known commonly as the famous Royal Cache. This was rediscovered in 1881. Ramesses the Great was found in a standard wooden coffin, but thankfully, even after all the moving of his remains, his body was still in good condition. The fantastic preservation of the school in particular is what has allowed the scientists to reconstruct his face. So again, here he is aged 45, and here he is as an old man towards the end of his life. The mummy of Ramesses II is now in the National Museum of Egyptian Civilization in Cairo. To make the reconstructions, his skull recently underwent a new CT scan, from which Salim made a three-dimensional virtual model of the pharaoh's head. 
From the 3D model, Wilkinson reconstructed his face with computer software that's used in criminal investigations. Based on what we know about Ramesses from his remains, and also based on what we know would have been common amongst Egyptians in the New Kingdom, the computer model is as accurate as possible. The mummy was forensically tested in 1976, and according to Pierre Fernand Sassaldi, chief forensic scientist at the Criminal Identification Laboratory of Paris, Ramesses had slightly wavy red hair and facial features suggesting he was fair-skinned. But this has been debated, and another scientist claims the ethnicity of the man can't be determined from his hair. Further studies of the skeletal remains have noted similarities to both ancient Nubians, but also modern Mediterranean populations in the Levant. His skeleton revealed old fractures, arthritis and poor circulation, and in the final decades of his life, he would have walked with a hunched back. His condition is known as diffuse idiopathic skeletal hyperostosis, which is the bony hardening of ligaments in areas where they attach to the spine. He also had a significant hole in his mandible and an abscess by his teeth, serious enough to have caused death by infection, although his cause of death can't be confirmed. So Ramesses must have gone through some serious physical pain in his life, but he did reach the ripe old age of 90. He is often regarded as the greatest, most celebrated and most powerful pharaoh of the New Kingdom, and although we have many statues, we now have a true face to go with the name. I just want to take this opportunity to say that in September 2023, I'll be joining NEXT on my first special permission tour of Egypt. Spaces are now available for this incredible trip, which includes private VIP access into the Great Pyramid, watching sunrise between the paws of the Sphinx, a four-night luxury Nile cruise, and visits to so many of Egypt's greatest attractions. I've left a link in the description below, but please note that spaces are limited, and bookings are taken on a first-come, first-served basis. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Ancient Architects. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, please like the video, and please leave a comment below. Thank you very much.